This is a Limestone Coast Triple M podcast. Triple M, everything Limestone Coast. Good morning, you and Barney and mine this very cold uh, was, Friday morning, boys. It was lovely to see a South Australian, a fellow called Jack Lakosha, take the Premiers apart last night, bring them down to earth, beat them by 10 points. Uh, the, the coach says we're very close, but we've got a lot to do. I can't actually get my brain around that statement myself. But well, my I word, what a, what a game that was last night. Well, can you? It's, it's a crazy footy world at the moment. How could you possibly pick the Suns? They were a basket case here about two or three weeks ago and get up and beat to the reigning premiers. And gee whiz, haven't they fallen for Grace Richmond? That, that bubbles burst, boys. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's Red Rover. They, uh, they, can't, they can't win another one, that's for sure. So... What a crazy football world we live in, for C- goodness sake. Certainly is crazy, but we've been listening to you as the interchange for Blighty on Sports Day at 6 o'clock on uh, Triple M down here. Now, yep. you've been singing the praises of the Western Bulldogs for the flag and Bont for the Brownlow. Who are they going to play, KG? Is it too early? Well, I, 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 I would say the, the, the Brisbane Lions. I, I just love the way that Chris Fagan's gone about uh, you know, coaching that, that, that particular team. Their form's good, they're settled. And uh, as uh, we know, we'll, we'll see them here at the weekend. I, I really believe that uh, they may take the next step from last year. They made the prelim final, and uh, I reckon it's Western Bulldogs uh, and uh, and Brisbane at this stage. But uh, it just changes from week to week, by and by. That is for sure. I tell you what I'm looking forward to on the weekend, <laughs> seeing Burgoyne play his 400th. He was brought to Hawthorne as maybe a one- or two-year player, and now he's playing his 400th, mm. and I think he'll go on and play another season. What a fabulous player. Well, guys, you know, he epitomises what football is about and how the game should be played. Silky smooth, clean, uh, great promotion for the game, and comes from a lovely family, absolutely married to Greg Phillips' daughter. Uh, it is a wonderful story, and the... Gee whiz, uh, that was a coup by Alistair Clarkson to get him to go to uh, go to Hawthorne, that's for sure. That Just imagine him spending all that time at, uh, at Port Adelaide. How good would that have been for the uh, for the power, for goodness sake? No, he's an out-and-out out champion, 400 games, mind-boggling stuff, absolutely. Now, at the other end of the scale, a boy born in Mount Gambier, played his junior footy at Kingston, worked his way through Gennel. He's a bit of a tough nut. Luke Pedler makes his debut for yeah. the Adelaide Crows. And how good on Adelaide Oval, too? Well, fantastic. And uh, they're, they're big raps on the kid. Uh, we haven't seen him, but uh, uh, the, the, the people that have seen him say he's uh, he's the real deal without putting too much pressure on him. But, gee whiz, it, it, it's just an unbelievable story. And... Uh, I'll be keen to see how he goes. Look, Adelaide are on the right tram. There's no doubt. Matthew Nix, in, in my view, has got them uh, got them humming along, and they're going to be up and down because of the rebuilding. But uh, I, I reckon they've uh, they've got a good uh, a good coach in Matthew Nix. To be honest with you, and I'd have to say that uh, Darcy Foggart is pretty unlucky. He kicks a couple of goals, uh, yes. really puts in, knocks his people around, and he's <laughs> dropped. Well, yeah, that's interesting, uh, Barney. Look. <laughs> He's one of those players that when you see him play and what he does, it, it, you know, he can kick, he can do this, he can do that, but he just doesn't do enough. Mm. That's the only problem. And I sit and watch him and think, goodness gracious me, if only this kid could do more of what he does, he would be a, 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 a very, very good player, but he just doesn't do enough. And I don't know where he goes to from here, the, the, They've, they've nursed him along, they've given him opportunities, but he just doesn't do enough, unfortunately. Wimbledon, Ash Barty's got the draw, so it's up yeah. to her. I uh, yeah. what, what about Kyrgios? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Gee whiz. That, bloke, that bloke's got an absolute gift as a tennis player. I saw part of it, and gee whiz, fair him. He just plays some unbelievable shots. Yeah, love to see Ash Barty. She's a, a true champion, and... Uh, you know, a fantastic ambassador for, for the game of tennis, absolutely. And Texas with us for another year. It's going to be a yep. great for weekend of football. We'll talk to you next week. Good on you, Barney Muller. Go the Crows, go the power. You and for breakfast, 6 a.m. weekdays on the Limestone Coast Triple M and always online at triplem.com.au.